Brennan revealed for the first time Tuesday that he contacted his Russian counterpart last year and told him that Russia would pay a price if it didn't stop trying to meddle in the U.S. election. Elaine, he says that the Russian official denied any charges but told him that he would take those concerns to Vladimir Putin. Well, Nancy, let's start with former CIA Director John Brennan's testimony before the House Intelligence Committee. He gave a roadmap of sorts for how the FBI investigation got started. How is his testimony being received on the Hill? Well, uh, pretty predictably, you have Democrats saying that it is uh, only uh, another piece of this puzzle that, that shows that there was so much contact going on between Trump associates and the Russians that it raised eyebrows at the CIA as early as uh, the start of last year, uh, and that they were so concerned that they had to set up this interagency task force to take a look at it. Republicans, on the other hand, say at the end of the day, all that matters is whether there is proof of collusion or not. It's not illegal for anyone to talk to anyone else. What's illegal is collusion, and they were trying to pull that out of Brennan today, uh, and he simply didn't have those details. He said he's not the person who would have those details because all he does at the CIA, or did do until he left the CIA in January, was to collect intelligence and hand it over to to the FBI, which would then make that determination because uh, the FBI is the agency that looks into the actions of U.S. citizens, not the CIA. Well, Nancy, on the Senate side, the Senate Intelligence Committee is issuing two new subpoenas to compel Michael Flynn to turn over documents about his contacts with Russian officials. In what ways are they directing these new subpoenas, uh, perhaps to make it more difficult for him to again invoke the fifth? Well, they're now asking for a very specific set of documents from a couple of Flynn's businesses. Um, it's pretty clear at this point, if he said no the first time around, that he's probably going to say no this time, too. But they want to get it in the record. They want to show that they made all of these requests. It, it, they have the option, at the end of the day, of charging him with contempt of Congress, uh, which uh, is not a uh, criminal charge, but, um, you know, it would be essentially essentially saying that he has violated his duties to Congress. Um, but they say they don't want to take that step yet. They want to try to continue to compel him to hand over these documents, to try to compel him to talk to them. And the, the senator who leads the Senate Intelligence Committee, Richard Burr of North Carolina, said he wants to hear from Michael Flynn because Flynn himself has said publicly that he's got a story to tell. So they're not going to slap him with contempt at this point. Point. They want to keep trying to see if they can entice him in some way to be more forthcoming. All right, Nancy Cordes, thank you. You're welcome.